So today I'm reviewing the, and isn't this lovely how my hair is matted up in both of these? I am sorry. I'm reviewing the dry bar double shot hair dryer and brush in one and the Revlon Pro Collection Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer off of Amazon. So a lot of people had said about the Revlon that there weren't heat settings. I think this is a newer one, but this does have an off, a cool, a low, and a high. And the dry bar has an off, a cool, a low, and a high. Um, weight wise, you can't really tell the difference. And they both have a swivel, swivel cord. Dry bar's a little longer. So your hand fits maybe a little more comfortably. I'm just, I'm looking for things, but I mean, they look like almost identical. The dry bar does have better bristles, I think, and more bristles. The vents are vertical. There's a ton of vertical vents all around it, as opposed to the Revlon only has vertical vents on the sides, and then there's some squiggly vents. We're getting technical. They're both ion technology. This one says ceramic coating. I'm not sure what this is, but it feels like a plastic. Yeah, maybe ceramic. I'll look up, I'll look that up and let you know. Keep watching to see how they work and my thoughts. Okay, we are gonna start with the dry bar. I'm gonna do this side of my hair with the dry bar and I'm gonna do it on the highest setting. And I'm gonna speed this up. Okay, that took about two minutes. Okay, so now we are going to do the Revlon. It smells hot. I don't know if that's like the rubber or the plastic or my hair in there. Okay, this one does have the two settings like I mentioned. This is low. That still smells kinda hot. Dry bar on this side. All right, now we're gonna do the red one. Okay, I can't do it on the high one anymore. It is, it is getting like way too hot. So we're gonna do low. All right, we have driver on this side. I need a haircut in a bad way. Driver on this side, Revlon on this side. I can't really tell enough difference in my hair to warrant one versus the other. The Revlon side does take a little longer maybe of how the vents are placed. Does it terrify me that it smells like burning plastic? Yes. Did it get too hot? Yes. So to me, that kind of defeats the purpose of having like a two-in-one to save time if you're gonna need to do it on low. And I have pretty thin hair. I do not have thick hair, I just have a lot of it. So I feel like if you had thicker hair, then it would really get hot. Um, but does it work? Yes. I just, the smell freaks me out. And the heat, it got too hot. So I probably would choose the dry bar over the Revlon. I mean, the dry bar is expensive. So the Revlon is good. I would just make sure that it's not getting too hot on your hair. And I don't know, maybe the smell wears off. I'll keep using it and I'll update you. 